In today's video, I would like to show you guys a tool that could potentially make your video tracking and solving tasks a lot easier. And it is called FlaxTrax. Basically, it is an add-on that was designed to automate various aspects of tracking and it promises to simplify a lot of the tedious tasks associated with tracking and solving. And from what I can see, this comes essentially in taking care of several stages of the tracking process automatically. From applying filters and resolving tracked film, to adding trackers, adjusting motion tracking parameters, and processing the entire video. And it mainly aims to handle these tasks with minimal manual intervention. And this animal works by doing a bunch of tasks automatically, step by step. First, it puts trackers on stuff in the images. Then, it tracks these trackers without you doing anything. After that, it figures out how these trackers move. Next, it cleans up any bad tracking it finds. And finally, it sorts out the trackers to make sure that they are all good. Now, sure, you can do all that by hand. But let's be real here. It is boring and it takes forever. Plus, there is no guarantee that you will do it right. So why bother doing it manually when you've got the add-on that can do it for you? Uh, one notable aspect of Flag Tracks is its ability to automatically find the correct focal length for the video. This feature proves particularly useful as manually finding the precise focal length can be a hard task, especially considering the importance in the tracking process. But with this add-on, this step is seamlessly integrated into the workflow, which kind of offers you a convenient solution for something that is usually hard. And by automating this process, the add-on aims to simplify the user experience, which kind of gives you some nice results. Another cool feature of flat tracks is its ability to ensure that the tracked footage can seamlessly match your original footage. And from what I can see, this ensures that there is no awkward misalignment and everything flows smoothly. And what's even better, it not only does the alignment automatically, but also applies more recommended settings to enhance the overall quality. And here is the cherry on top. It has the ability to automatically adjust the length of the tracked footage to match the original footage. Generally speaking, using the add-on is simple. The process begins with first going to the motion tracking workspace and choosing the footage that you want. And then you will find the add-on on the left of the bottom window. After that, you're gonna have to set some specific parameters before letting the add-on start the automatic work. You first need to adjust the pattern size and search size for the trackers with recommended values provided, but adjustable to suit your footage. Next, specify a reasonably accurate focal length, ensuring it falls within a plus 15 or minus 15 range for optimal tracking accuracy. And once these settings are in place, simply copy and paste the name of your image, I mean image sequence, into flex tracks to inform the add-on which sequence you intend to track. Following this, determine your desired target solver error, aligning it with your project's accuracy requirements. And for added convenience, enable the autofocal length feature to automatically find the correct focal length. With all parameters configured, initiate the tracking process by clicking on the automatically tracked footage button, allowing Flex Tracks to handle the rest while you wait for a few minutes until the completion of the task. The only drawback about the add-on is how long it takes to process your footage. And depending on factors like the frame rate, resolution, and desired solver error, it could take anywhere from a few minutes to several hours. But here is the thing, doing it manually will take way longer. Also, recently Flex Tracks underwent a major update that improved its tracking and solving capabilities, resulting in a reduction of the processing time by 70%. Additionally, new features were introduced, such as the ability to mask out external moving objects like cars or people moving across the scene. And the add-on is now more capable with longer footage sequences. In addition, real-time information has been added to the console, which allows you to see which step it is currently working on. And these enhancements offer you more flexibility when working on your tracking workflow in general. So if you are interested in flex tracks, you will find all the necessary links in the description. I hope you guys found this video useful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you guys very much for watching again, and I will see you in the next one.